Hello there, I'm Juan Carlos Gonzalez, an end office apps and services MVP. First of all, I hope all of you are okay. And now let's go to the point. In today's video, I'm going to introduce you a new feature we are going to have in SharePoint Online Pages. Basically, we are going to have the possibility to view the analytics of a particular page in a SharePoint Online site. So here I am in one of my demo environments where I have a modern SharePoint Online site. As you can see here, on top of the main page of this site, I have the possibility to click on Analytics. This is actually a new feature that is not in all the tenants. Indeed, I found myself in this particular tenant that is quite a new tenant, but I don't have it in any other tenants I have for my demos. So if I click on Analytics, <coughs> what I'm going to have is just a granular view of the analytics for this page. So I can see page viewers for this particular page for the last 7, 30 or 90 days. I have also this metric of the page views in the last 7, 30, 90 days and also as expected average time spent per user on the page on the same time window 7, 30, 90 days or page traffic by time. As you can see, I don't have all the analytics I have for the site. Obviously, this anal those analytics make sense for a page. And as I say, I'm going to have this feature in any other page I have in my site. So for instance, if I click on a news, I'm going to have the possibility to see the analytics for this particular news. So I can click again on analytics and I'm going to see the page analytics for this particular news page on the site. As I say, the amount of information I'm going to have for a particular page is not the same I have for this for the site. And it actually makes sense. Because for a site, I need much more information in regards of analytics. So when I browse the site analytics page, here I'm going to see more information about traffic of what's happening around the usage of this site. So I can see the unique viewers, I can see the site visits, I can see the average time spent per user in the site. Again, in the last 7, 30, 90 days, I can download the analytics for this site. And very useful, I can see the popular content in the last 7 days, what means popular content around pages in the site, news in the site or documents, news posts by unique viewers, documents, and usage insights. So I can have a view um, uh, from where users normally connect to the site. In, my, this, in this particular demo site, most of the times I'm connected from the desktop, but also I could have analytics of connections coming from mobile web, mobile app, tablet, or the devices. Usage insights by time. And last but not least, information about shared documents shared with external users on the site. So coming back to the home page of this site and the analytics feature we have per page, uh, as a summary, yeah, this is a very useful feature we can have uh, per page in SharePoint Online site. So we can see if, uh, for instance, we are going, we are having a lot of engagement you know, in our internet because we are having a lot of visits in the home page of the site or not. So we need to do, or we need to take some acts to take some actions in order to improve the engagement of users with the home page of our site. And that's all I have for today. I hope you have found this video useful. I hope you are well. Um, please stay safe. Um, take care. And um, yeah. See you soon. Bye-bye.